Hiya Beans, it's your mama bean Allie, and um, to be honest, this is just another PSA, and it's also relating with Tofia Chu. Remember two days ago, I talked about the PSA about don't be like Tofia Chu, that she lost her live access because she did something uh, a little inappropriate in the game Sims. It turns out that she had a backup and she went live. And the things that she was talking about on that live on October 8th, which was yesterday, it gave me the most biggest migraine. Bigger like the moon <laughs> itself. And yes, the reason why I'm not showing my avatar is because I am showing this handsome fella um, the face that I made throughout the entire live. I was so annoyed. I was pissed. I was disgusted on the things she's saying. And we're going to go through it together, Beans. Are you excited? Because we're all going to get a mind grade. Maybe bigger than the moon. Maybe bigger than Saturn or the sun. Because my eyes are completely scarlet right now. From all the things she is saying, we're going to discuss about them. And yeah. I'll try not to be extremely angry or swear because she really makes me angry so easily. So, yeah. Let's go through a few things that she was talking about. All right? How horrible I am, how horrible, blah, blah, blah. But you don't hold this energy for somebody. Thank you for the gift points who literally sits here and spews hateful ideology. Why is Jeffrey Star making $3,000 on this app if he's a racist? You don't like racist, but you're re you're sure rewarding one. I don't get it. He's internally transphobic for what he said about pronouns, but yet you still gift him. He's literally ignoring the fact of what's going on with Eugenia Cooney because you know, she's his cash cow. Okay, I do not want to play throughout the entire thing because she is, um, she does not want to take accountability after the things she would say on live from the past. So she's trying to find a way to ignore what she's done and blame it on other people. And she's blaming Jeffree Star. Now, for someone who used to be a Jeffree Star fan, I would understand, um, he's done some really shady things from the past, and, um... Don't act like you did the same thing, Tofia. You called Jeffree a racist, sweetie. You're also a racist. Beans, I'm dead serious. She is a racist. She's racist towards white people, black people, Hispanics seriously <laughs> but but yeah she is just she just brought up jeffree star out of nowhere just by talking about how come i get canceled but jeffree star doesn't well honey because um <laughs> i i don't know don't ask us probably because he has a really big makeup business and he's making money off of it and you don't <laughs> That's my guess. I don't know much about it. Like, I don't know why he like he's not canceled, but maybe because he has a big makeup brand and he's making money off of it. That's my guess. What do you think, Beans? Because that's my only answer. But yeah, it's not just Jeffree Star. She's trying to blame other people like Nova Online, Leslie Clark, um, Aunt Karen, other TikTokers and lol cows. She just doesn't like to take accountability. Blame she doesn't want to blame herself. That's the only issue. She does not want to take accountability because you know why? She's trying to play the victim here and pull out the race card. <laughs> That's all. Not only that, have been pushing this narrative about my whole family being gay. My brother went to a, was like, saw Pride was happening and he decided to, you know, go see what was going on. And apparently because he went to su support and he went to Pride, that made him gay. Even though he was just driving by there, he didn't even know that was going on. And when he realized it was going on, he stopped. Oh, I guess people can't support people. That makes someone gay for going to Pride. How dumb is that? And then people try to say, oh, your mom is liking women in swimsuits, photos. That makes her lesbian. 
Oh, and that's not the only thing. They literally said my father was gay for telling another man I love you. If you can't already tell, Beans, these people are just trolling with Tofia, and she is just believing every bit of them because they're just, you know, just they're just trolling with her by saying, oh, your family's gay, you're gay, and you know how trolls are. All that she is doing is feeding the trolls so much. Just stupidity. She believes everything that a troll would say she even she would even believe a freaking ai generated boyfriend from character ai and thinking like they are the real person and would cry about it seriously this 30 year old woman is freaking crazy and don't get me wrong yes she is also not only racist but homophobic too and transphobic there would be a few times on live stream from the past she would say some slurs against uh, LGBTQ people. And of course, there's also supporters too. I, for one, is a supporter and a bicurious woman. And again, the, these people are just trolling with Tofia and she's just feeding them a bunch of useless knowledge. And then literally coming in my comment section asking me if I wanna date you, which I don't know who you are as a person or I don't even know if you're a minor or anything, it's just weird. And I kept saying, and then they tried it with someone else and it was overstepping my boundaries. Maybe instead of worrying about something you know nothing about, maybe you should worry about yourself instead of listening to a stupid troll account that is pretending to be a performative activist by literally sitting here acting like they care so much about homophobia. <sighs> Just don't feed the trolls. That's all you're doing. You're feeding the trolls. You're believing everything they're saying. And I believe that person is just trolling with you and wanting to expose you. And yes, um, if you all don't know about Tofia, um, ab about two years ago, I believe, she got exposed for watching a certain video that inquires um, Asian teenagers on an X video website and I heard that website according to a YouTuber that I watched that um, knows about the website it's actually a very dark website over there that not only has you know that sort of stuff but also has even more things including animals too so got anything else to say about that Tofia? <laughs> because um <laughs> we know about the history behind that uh, website so Got any, any backup, sweetie? Hmm? No? You're just gonna blame someone else? Point the finger? Not on you? <laughs> I see. I'm not, and you, you know what, inter it's not internalizing. It's not internalizing. Internalized homophobia is literally someone who is a part of the community that is homophobic while being a part of the community. I can't be internalized homophobic because I'm not a man and it wouldn't apply to me. Internalized homo homophobia does not apply. Homophobic applies to me, not internalized. Internalized homophobia is a person that's in the community, a man that is literally spewing, ho is spewing homophobic rhetoric and he's a part of the community. Yes, blame the man for being a complete homophobic bastard and shitting on the LGBT. Sweetie. <laughs> Did you know there's also uh, homophobic females out there? Don't act like you're also uh, a homophobe because... <laughs> This also makes me angry. I'm not saying all men are homophobic. I mean, yeah, there's some certain groups, but it's not just the man, honey. It's not just the man. There's also women that can be homophobic, too. Just don't blame a certain gender, okay? I could be homophobic. You can say you're homophobic, but I can't be internalized. Holy crap, she just confessed. That is literally not me. That is for men that are a part of the community. Oh yes, blame the gender card because all men are nothing but racist and homophobic creatures that just... Because white privilege... Bullshit. <laughs> I mean, no joke, I, I'm not... I'm... <laughs> it's 
sorry. <laughs> you know I'm just joking, but again, white privilege is really annoying. It's not a slur. It's used towards other black people who defend white supremacy. That's that's definitely not a slur. The only people that can't call someone a non-black people because they, they can't sit here and say that. Tofia, don't act like you've said that word on a live stream from the past. I remember a clip where you said that certain word. You just called a person that word. Don't act like you didn't say that. Don't act like that you're not racist. Because she... she well, hold on. My, my brain is trying to... Process. Okay, it's processed. <laughs> She's trying to claim that black people are not racist because she likes to say, oh, I'm black, so that doesn't make me a racist, that I'm being racist towards white, black, or Hispanic people. Honey, racism is not a white person thing. Anyone can be racist, including blacks, Hispanics, Asians, even Canadians. Don't want to forget about the Canadians. Heck, even they have slurs for white people as well. Just don't act like white people are the only racist people in the world. Because you just want an excuse just to bullshit on other people. Me being told I'm not black enough, I would never accuse someone of being white. I'm not going to sit here and say to you, Ruben, I don't think you're white or assume you're white because I can't see a profile picture of you. I, I am not going to assume it, whether someone's black enough or not. What's not people's places is the white tea people that come to my page or messaging me telling me I'm not black. You don't get to decide that. Once again, don't feed the f trolls. And yeah, Tofia is trying to admit that she is black. Now, for my theory, and to other people that are, like, saying there's a rumor that Papa Chu is not her biological father, and he is a stepfather to Tofia, and I do not want to talk about Papa Chu because he's a whole other story, and... But anyways, I think her biological father was Hispanic. I'm not just saying it's factual, it's just some things that I've been hearing from other people. Could it be true or could it be not? Is Papa Chu really her biological father or is a stepfather? What do you beans think? Or any Tofia experts out there? And some mixed people need to start learning things before they speak because I heard someone say they're 50% black. How are you 50% black? You can't be 50% of this and 50% of that. If you have a parent that is full, that is a dark skinned black parent that you have, you're black. You can't be 50 this, 50 that. That's not how it works. Bitch, are you telling me that mixed people are not a thing? <laughs> this one pissed me off the most. I am mixed. I am 50 50. I am half Hispanic half Irish, and... <laughs> Tofia, don't act like you did the same thing. I remember you try to make a video about, oh, I'm gonna make a video on why I would make a really, really good girlfriend for this guy that isn't gonna be with me because I mentioned that I'm half Hispanic and half black. It's not stupid. There are such things as mixed people. There are 50-50. Cameron Boyce, for example, he is 50-50. His father was black. His mother was, I think she was Hispanic or white, but I'm not sure. But Cameron Boyce, for example. So you're saying your whole half Hispanic and half black thing is stupid? Hmm? You know what's so funny about people that are haters? Why is it everyone claims they got something? Someone's got a house. Someone owns a car. People got businesses. Well, Tofia dear, it's because that they have a hardworking job, possibly 9 to 5 full-time job, and that's how they got a house, a nice car, and a good business. You should look into that. It's always people, and do you know what that is? Let's educate them, class, shall we? Ooh, what's the lesson today, Tofia-sensei?
Okay, so you're going to private college, right? You're going to school. Um, what does going to a private college mean that you still don't sound stupid? You could still get an education and be stupid. <laughs> a piece of paper does not mean you're smart. Do you know how many people are rich off of not off of dropping out of high school? They didn't complete high school. You know, maybe it's not saying you're smarter than people because you went to a private college. You know what that sounds like, class? I'm going to tell you, it still applies. It sounds like classism. You're a classist for saying you go to a private college. Not many people get to go because they don't have mommy and daddy's money to go to college now. They don't borrow mommy and daddy's money like Trump and become successful. Oh, let me tell you something, right? Because did you know a white person could walk up with the qualifications? If a white person was to sit here and educate themselves on a very, very um, high paying job, right? Let me explain something to you, right? You can educate yourself by buying books from Barnes and Noble. Walk into a job and get it because you look white and not ever have to go get schooling. If a black person showed up to the same job with no education, with the same qualifications as a white person, educating themselves, self-educating themselves, and was more than qualified for the job and didn't need a degree to get the job, they wouldn't because of their skin color. And I'm tired of people saying that race... That, it, that to stop making everything about race when a white person could walk into any job and get it without a college degree. That's the way the world works. So what she's trying to say is if you go to a public college, a community college, a university, or even a private college, you're a classist. What the f***? God. Oh my God. And she's saying... Their class is because they, they make their own money to go to college. Bitch, that's what I'm doing. I want to get enough money just so I can go to college and continue my art, my, my, just doing my art career. And you're call I think she's calling me a classist. Because there's a, there are tons of people that are making their own money just to go to college, go to school, or they just want to continue to go to school just to get a good job to make more money. I have a mind grain that's bigger than a galaxy beans. This whole video and this live is the reason why you should never feed the trolls. You should never end up like Tofia. Don't talk shit to the audience like this. She's a reason why she is so infamous. She feeds on negativity. She talks shit to, like, supporters, trolls, haters. Even as a hater myself, there's a reason why she is so hateful. There's nothing good about Tofia. And all the things she has done, she does not want to take accountability. When she gets exposed, she bitches and cries and shouts at her mom. Ugh. <sighs> Seriously, I had to listen through all of this, and I got so angry. And that's why I'm using Bjorn Andresen's face, because that was my entire face while I was doing my makeup. Even my makeup, I look like I'm f pissed. Anyways, this will be the last time I will be talking about Tofia Chu and my opinion, because this whole thing, it's so it's too much for me. Just... Don't be like Tofia Chu, Beans. This is not how you get famous, Beans. This is not how you get fame. She is famous for the wrong reason. Okay? The wrong reason. Anyways, that was a big-ass PSA I've done. 
I'm gonna go make some chicken nuggets with some barbecue sauce, maybe some ranch and honey mustard, and go cuddle with my cat and watch a freaking Rob Zombie movie because Halloween! Have a wonderful day, little beans. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and don't be like her.